Welcome to this week's video. So we're over at Three Rivers Campsite in Geldeston in Norfolk, spending a couple of nights in the tent box. And it's been a year to this day that we've had the tent box cargo. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity to give the tent box cargo a review after using it for all the adventures I've been on after a year. So thanks for joining us. So what we're going to do is go through all the good points, the bad points, and all of the things that I've done to make my camping experience a little bit better using the tent box cargo. So I've had the tent box cargo, as it says on the tin, for just over a year, and I've used it for a multitude of adventures through the winter, the spring, and the summer. And it has been an absolute fantastic piece of kit to use. The one thing to mention about the tent box cargo is it is expensive. This full setup here with the awning, the roof rack, and the tent box cargo, that costs around £2,750. So it is quite a substantial investment to take. But it is an investment. It really does open the opportunities for you to go out and enjoy yourself no matter where you are. And the great thing about the tent box cargo is it's rigid, it's rugged, and it's just built to last so perfect for overlanding but also perfect to stick on your standard five door family car as well so one of the main selling points about the tent box cargo is how quick it takes to set up it literally can be set up and ready to use within five minutes it's really durable and that's down to the hardcore aluminium case that the actual tent is built into and it's really modular as well so you can make things for it and you can add other accessories onto it as well you've got this c channel two c channels here at the bottom that runs all the way around the tent and then you've got a C channel on the top here, which is where you can attach another one of the accessories, which is the roof rack. Now the roof rack, you can see the roof rack behind me here, and that is completely adjustable because it slides up the C channel, like I said before, on that top section there. So you can put it into whatever position you want to put it in, whether you're carrying a bike rack or whether you're carrying a roof box. You could also see two little eyes on each of the roof rack there. Now they're completely adjustable as well, and they're really, really good at tying things down if you're carrying a rod holder or any other thing like that on the top of your roof tent. Now weight capacity while you're carrying. Yes the weight capacity is pretty good when you're actually traveling but you've got to think about the weight capacity when you're lifting the tent up because the last thing you want is for that thing to come down when you're fast asleep inside. So the ladder. The ladder you can put on the driver side, the passenger side or on the rear of the tent. If it's on the rear of the tent then you can utilize the rain fly there to stop any ingress of water when it's raining going in and out of your tent. If you're having to use the sides like I have to because I can't use a ladder at the back because it it would stop me opening the rear of the truck you're going to get wet if it's raining so i think there's a really really good opportunity for tent box to put together a little modular accessory that will slide down that c channel on that top section there to create a rain fly for the side doors on the cargo so let's talk about the inside of the tent so inside of the tent you've got enough space for two people it's not massively spacious for two people but there's enough room for two people for a single person it's absolutely perfect now the mattress is a memory foam mattress which a lot of people have said that it's too hard personally I think it's absolutely fine but if you find it too hard you can buy a mattress topper off the tent box website or you can even get one from one of the local supermarkets 
So inside of the tent, you've got some cargo net in here and there's two layers of it. So this is absolutely perfect to shove all of your clothes and things inside of it. You can stick your shoes in there, but what I would recommend is getting a boot bag to hang off the side of the tent there. So you can put all of your boots inside of that boot bag. So you're not gonna get any dirty shoes inside of it. So headroom in the tent box cargo, there's absolutely loads of space here. So I'm literally on my knees here and my head is literally just above the ceiling here. So you've got tons and tons of space inside of here. Inside of the tent on both sides here, you've got two little ventilation holes inside. Condensation can be a little bit of a problem. I did expect to find it when I was out in Wales in January this year, but that didn't condensate up. But then over in the summer, I did find a little bit of condensation inside of the tent. And there is a really, really easy way that you can deal with this if the weather permits. So the best way to deal with this problem is zip this fly pretty much all the way up, making sure that you fold that piece in and then zip up your mosquito fly and then do that on both sides and then you've got a little bit more airflow. Obviously this is weather dependent. If it's hossing it down, the last thing you want is a gap like that there. One of the best mods I've made to this tent is to give myself some power up here and that runs from the battery pack in the back of the truck. Now I've made a video on this to show the gear loadout on all of this so I'll stick a link to that up the top there. You haven't got to go that far. You can just bring yourself a battery pack uh, into the tent with you when you need to charge your bits. Now another great bit of a kit which I think is a must for roof tent camping is to have one of these in there, which is a collapsible, that's a unisex pee bottle. You know, you, two o'clock in the morning, you haven't got to get out of your tent, climb down that ladder and go for a pee. So one recommendation I would make with the cargo is the strap that you use to collapse the tent, this can blow about in the wind and make a bit of noise and keep you awake. So tie it off onto something, I use the handle. So the one thing with the tent box cargo is space. Yes, there's enough space for two people to sleep in, but there's not enough space to be doing anything else at all. If the weather is pretty increment, what I do suggest is sliding your seats forward in your truck or your car and having a bit of space inside of there as well to protect you from the weather, or have the awning hanging out the side there just to protect you from the rain. Now the awning is gonna protect you from the rain, but it's not gonna protect you from biting insects. So this is where the awning room comes into play. So tent box have recently released the awning room and the awning room will basically just clip onto the awning, drop down on the sides and give you a fully waterproof room to protect you from the rain and from the insects as well. So watch this space, one of those is on order. Is the tent box cargo worth the money? £2,750 is quite an expensive outlay for a roof tent and all of the other bits that we've got on here. But you need to think of it as an investment, where it will take you and the memories that it will make. So would I recommend the tent box cargo? Absolutely 100%. It is an absolute fantastic tent. It's quick to pitch and absolutely perfect for people like myself that want to go out and enjoy the outdoors. Please don't forget the £50 discount which is just in the corner there, which is off any of the tent box tents. So there we go, that is the tent box cargo after a year and it has been been a year of adventures using the tent box cargo. I've really, really enjoyed myself. If you want some more information about the tent box cargo, I'll stick a link to a more in-depth uh, post I've done on the blog down there. Thank you for watching, and if you're new to the channel, then please hit that subscribe button, and hopefully we'll see you next time on the next one.